Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a new month. It is the month of October and welcome back. I'm really excited about the new series that we're going to be delving into this month. We're going to talk about the thoughts and ideas that you might have in your head that are stopping you from this walk with Jesus. Because I went through probably a lot of the same questions that you might have if you're kind of on the fence about whether or not this whole Christianity thing is for you. If this sounds of interest, then subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that little bell to be notified when I post videos every week. So like I said, there's so many things that are honestly just lies of the enemy that stop us from just diving head first into this relationship with Jesus. So this week we're definitely going to be talking about the thoughts that make us think, okay, does God really love me through my mistakes? There could be no bigger lie than the fact that God can't love you past your mistakes because I'm living proof that he can and he does and he will for you because he's done it for me and he's gonna do it for every single person on the face of the planet from the past, now, and everyone in the future. So the answer is a resounding yes. He loves you through and past your mistakes. So I absolutely love this verse, particularly in the Passion Translation because it is just, love the way they said it. So this is Romans 8, verse one. So now the case is closed. There remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union with Jesus, the anointed one. Did you hear that? It says the case is closed. It is finished. It says right here, there's no condemnation with Jesus. You might feel conviction, but conviction is completely different than condemnation. The person who condemns you is not Jesus, but the enemy or other people, but it's not Jesus. So there's no condemnation in this relationship. So no matter what you've done in the past, he will never condemn you for it. If you run to him and ask for forgiveness, he will give you forgiveness and will wipe away your sins. That is the most amazing thing. That's why he died on the cross for us. He took on our sins so that we can be washed clean by the blood of Jesus every day, continuously. All we have to do is have a relationship with Jesus and ask for forgiveness and repent, which basically means just to pivot when we do make mistakes and when we miss the mark. There is no sin big enough to separate you from the love of God. We might separate ourselves from God because we think our sin will make him mad or make him not forgive us but that's us believing the lies of the enemy god will never ever 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 turn you away no matter how big your mistakes are he loves you always and he loves you through your sins and there's so many great examples in the bible that show us and demonstrate to us that no matter what we do, God is a merciful and gracious God and he will forgive you. And when I was reading the Old Testament, I loved reading about David because I always heard of David as, you know, the man after God's own heart. So if you're a man after God's own heart, at least I used to think, man, this guy must be just perfect. But guess what? The only perfect person that ever existed was Jesus. Nobody else is perfect. So even though David has been known to be a man after God's own heart, David did a lot of shady things in his life. Uh, he literally was an adulterer. He had an affair with a married woman and ended up having her husband killed so that he could be with her. That's not shady. I don't know what it is, but his heart was so connected to God and he had a relationship with God. And when he did make mistakes, he went to God and asked him for forgiveness. And that's all that God is asking for. It doesn't mean that we can just go and sin and just do crazy stuff all the time, but it just goes to show you that no matter what you've done, as long as you have the right heart posture towards God and you love him, you wanna do right by him, and when you miss the mark, you ask him for forgiveness, that's really all that God cares about. And that's super reassuring because nobody's perfect. I've made so many mistakes in my life, so many mistakes, but I feel his love and his peace just wash over me when I run to him and ask him for forgiveness for my mistakes. I never feel condemned, never. Even like the biggest things that I had to ask for or like and repented for, I've never felt like he turned me away. I literally have felt his love just wash over me. There's nothing better than that. So just accept that this life with Jesus, your past mistakes don't define you because Jesus is the king 
of transformations. When he comes into your life, he will transform you into a person that you don't even recognize. My life now is so different than the way my life was and the amount of joy and peace that I have, it's something that I never even thought I could experience. So once you invite him into your heart and into your life, he will transform you and each and every single day, you're becoming more and more like him because you're spending more and more time with him. And that's just amazing. So I can look at myself now versus the person I was a couple of years ago. That person is dead. Like I'm not that person anymore. And thank God for that because he has transformed my life. Jesus has transformed my life and he can transform your life too if you just give him the chance. So just to close this case, as it said in the verse, let's just call out the lies of the enemy and break them right now, okay? So if the enemy has ever told you that you can't be a follower of Jesus because you're not holy enough, I break that right now in the name of Jesus because through Jesus, you are holy. Through Jesus, you are more like him. And through Jesus, you have forgiveness of all of your sins. So we break that right now in the name of Jesus. We do not partner with those thoughts. The lies of the enemy that tell you that you've gone too far and you can't come back from where you are right now because you've sinned too much or you're just making mistakes left and right. No, not true. Because every single day, you wake up putting away your old self and putting on your new self through Jesus. So right now, I command those chains to be broken right now now in the name of Jesus, we no longer partner with those thoughts. Or here's another one that used to bog me down. If you've started this walk, but the enemy keeps bringing back your old life, making you feel like, oh, please, you're only going to be doing this for a little bit. This is just a season. You're going to go back to your old self. No, we command those lies of the enemy to leave right now in the name of Jesus, because you are washed clean and you are white as snow by the blood of Jesus. Every day you are becoming more and more like him. So we no longer partner with those thoughts. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Speaking of prayer, <laughs> let's wrap this up with, you know, a little formal prayer here. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you so much for transforming my life. Jesus, you know that my life was far from perfect. But once I've invited you in, you've changed my life in a way that I can't even begin to thank you for. And I pray that you do the exact same transformation to everyone watching. To everyone at home watching this video who says to themselves, I don't know, I don't know if I have what it takes to walk with Jesus, or I don't know if Jesus will forgive me of my, my sins. We break those thoughts right now in the name of Jesus. I just pray a supernatural peace and understanding so that everyone will have a true and real encounter with you, Jesus, so that you will just wash them clean, white as snow, and just engulf everyone with your love so they will begin to experience the abundant life that you have set out for them, so that they will start walking with you and walking in the plans that you have for each and every single one of us. And right now, we just pray against any plans of the enemy to disrupt our path, to put lies in our minds. We do not partner with those thoughts or those spirits. We are more than conquerors through Jesus. Jesus, you are the ultimate victory. And I claim victory over everyone watching. And we no longer are going to partner with the thoughts that tell us that our mistakes are bigger than the love that God has for us. And I pray all these things in your son Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Oh, that's awesome. And lastly, guys, actually, Holy Spirit just put it on my heart right now. We're talking about these things that can stop us from walking with Jesus. And I feel like it's only right to talk about what it takes to follow Jesus. And if this is new for you, this is actually the first time I'm going to be doing this prayer. So it's new for both of us. But it's important to confess with your mouth that you are letting Jesus into your life. So if you have this burning desire in your heart and you know that there's more to this life and that you want to give Jesus a try and you want to let him into your heart, then repeat after me. It's very, very simple. And it honestly will be the best decision of your entire life. I promise you that because my life has never been the same since I've said these words. Okay. Jesus, forgive me for I am a sinner. Forgive me for living life without you and forgive me 
for denying you as my savior. Jesus, from this day forward, I give my life to you. I surrender my life to you and I accept you as my personal Lord and savior. Jesus, thank you for loving me. Jesus, thank you for forgiving me. Jesus, thank you for beginning this relationship with me. From this day forward, I will follow you, Jesus, all the days of my life. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I'm excited for you. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I'm just like really moved right now. It's so important. And I'm so excited for how your life is about to change if you just said yes to that. I'm so excited for you because we all have like these holes in our heart where we're just searching for meaning, we're searching for the answer. My mom says that a lot of times, it's a God-shaped hole, right? That hole is meant to be filled with Jesus. So I'm just so excited for you. <sighs> okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, comment below, especially if you gave your heart to Jesus today, because I would just love to just pray over you and your new journey that you're about to have with Jesus. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next week. Bye guys. Peace, love, and blessings.